All right, today I'm going to be installing a Dreamline French Corner shower door system. I haven't seen any videos on YouTube on this, and that's why I'm doing this video because I looked on how to do it and I couldn't find a video. So this is me showing you how I'm doing it, and I'm following the directions by Dreamline. So first step, according to the directions, is you want to measure this out from 35 to 40 inches or so it'll give you the exact detail in the instructions and that needs to mount on the wall here on the backsplash you can see I have porcelain tile so I have to get a porcelain tile bit to, to screw through the porcelain and porcelain is very hard so if you got porcelain tile make sure you get a diamond hole saw bit Milwaukee makes them they're about 15 bucks at Home Depot and that will get you through the porcelain tile with the drill so first step is I'm checking before I even install these I, I just wanted to make sure that it fit and that's why I have this in there you get two corner pieces that just slide right in there this piece right here okay I already put them in and then you get some rollers in a bag that's for the doors and then you get some screws and that's pretty much it you get the two side panels and you get the two doors that I'm not even showing you right here but this is the first step make sure the thing fits if you put this on here and it's it's way off of your uh, your pen your floor pen then you got a problem so even before I do this I'm checking to make sure this fits this thing doesn't have to be hundred percent square to the wall because it does have a half inch play where when this is mounted you could, if you're off a little bit off level you can actually pull the door out from the bottom or the top or both just about a half inch away all right again the directions will first start at and it'll tell you to mount the rouse first before even adding the glass i'm doing the exact opposite i'm adding the glass and connecting these two pieces together just clip in and nothing's tied down i'm just i want to level it the way it is with the glass Okay, until my bubble's in the center, that's level. But the reason why you want to do this is just in case your reveal here might be a little bit off. Because you might need to go this way, you might need to go that way on both sides. So this side's pretty, the reveal's pretty even as this one. So if you just put the rails in there any old place, you know, this might not line up. So I don't know why it's not in the directions like that, but definitely put your glass with these two clips in here and these just pop right in and make sure that this thing's gonna fit square to your floor pan okay and then make sure it's level because you want your porcelain tile to look nice and straight on both sides okay so that's where I'm at and then you're gonna take out your pencil and mark do your marking okay This is just so I know where to put it. Reference mark. Do the same thing over here. Okay, just use the Milwaukee Ink Zoll Fine Point marker and got my holes all marked up I want to note that they do give you the screws and they will be the longest screws that go into here I already made sure that my 2x4 is behind the wall here right where I'm going to mount it I thought ahead so I don't need to use these plastic wall anchors so if you didn't put a stud there you're going to have these plastic wall anchors with a 5 16 inch, inch drill bit all right, if anybody's wondering what it looks like, here's the, the drill bit. And it says right there, porcelain, tile, and stone. This is a diamond, has diamonds in it. I got the 316s. All right, so I just drilled one hole, and you can see I put tape around it, just, just in case I make a mistake. Soap and water. On a drill okay and you want to start off at a 45 degree angle 
So I'm going to just spray a little bit right there. 45 degree angle, just like this. Once you get it started, you can see it started there. You're going to take this thing and you're going to turn it. And every so often I like to clean off this, this bit at the end with the rag. So it takes a few minutes per hole, but it's well worth it. You don't want to crack your tile. And then when you're done, just remove the tape. And you should have a nice hole for your screw to go in. And these take four holes per, per side here. So. All right, two more to go. All right, after the holes are made, you can put this piece back over the holes and put your screws in. All right, next thing you wanna do is run a bead of silicone. I got this silicone here. I'm gonna run a bead of it all the way down this profile and around the screw hole. Silicone that might have oozed out, and that's good. Remember, you want to have that level, so put the level on there. Always check, make sure that bubble's in the middle, and then you're good to go. Same thing is done on this side, exact same manner. All right, next step is to put the glasses in, but before that, you got to put these corner pieces in, and it's real easy to just slide right in, just like that. Okay, and then you gotta use your drill bit, one eighth inch drill bit, go through that, and then you're gonna put your pan head screws in there, the black ones. All right, got the bottom one in, and this top one just fits in. Just like that, all right. So we're gonna go and look and make sure our reveal is about the same. It's looking good. So I'm gonna go and tighten these down. I, I had them just a little bit loose just to make sure that my, uh, my reveal line was about the same. All right, according to the directions, the next step is to start hanging your doors. But before I do that, I'm gonna do something beforehand. I'm gonna silicone this base piece underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew these two bolts here, one here and one at the top, take this window back out, these glass panes back out, and then I'm gonna run a thick bead of silicone. See where the tape is? That's kind of a guide of where I want it. Real thick bead in the middle of this, and then I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna set it right in place on top of it. And that will do a better job at keeping water out and keeping it watertight. All right, ready for my bead. Got the glass out. And I'm just gonna run my bead right down the middle. All right. And then we'll set that back in place. All right, got it sitting back in place where I want it, right on that silicone. All right, next, you're gonna take these little wheels here and you're gonna put them up here. It's gonna be two up there and two at the bottom. Take the little screws out first. 
All right, so these little wheels need to be put in the groove first. You can't install it on the glass and then try to get those in. It won't work. So you want to get those wheels in and then you want to line up the screw just like I'm doing. And that's the best way to do it, believe me. And you don't want to cross spread these screws. So go in reverse and then go forward. Just like that. Don't tighten it down all the way. Leave it a little loose because you're going to have to do the bottom. And if you're wondering how I'm holding this up, best way to do it, use your foot. Just let it sit on your foot. And then once you get those too tight, you can take it off your foot and then it'll hang. And then you tighten up those bottom too. Again, if you tried to put the wheels on beforehand, I tried it. You can't get it in that groove. Uh, it just it seems impossible. So just do it the way it says. All right, one last tip for you guys. Uh, this is on a bearing. So you're screwing into a bearing air. Bearing just turns, it spins, okay? So it's really hard to tighten the bottom ones because it's just spinning the bearing. This whole thing will spin as you try to tighten it down. The secret to tightening it down on the bottom here is just push this in real hard and that will squish this bearing, this metal part of the bearing and not allow it to spin. And then you get a screwdriver and tighten it up while you're pushing down on here. It's the only way I could do it. But it works really easy once you do it like that. All right, last step is to drill your 1 8 inch drill bit here, about half inch away from the wall. And you can do that pretty much wherever. You do one on the top, one on the bottom, and one on that side, two on that side. All right, so the screw goes in there like that with the cap, just like that. All right, so I just screwed that in. Take this little black cap here and just push it on like that, and that's the finished look there. Kind of conceals that screw head. All right, and that's pretty much it. And this thing just, it's got little handles here to open it, okay? And if you have a bathroom that has a very tight, you know, it's very narrow like this one, this is a really nice um, shower glass to get because as you can see, I don't have that much room, but I'm able to get out of here just fine and around the toilet, okay? It used to have a caddy corner shower, real small one, and it's just too tight to, to, to shower in those type of showers. You're, you're in there real cramped, and this just gives you a, you know, a lot more room. So, highly recommend this, uh, this uh, shower glass system. All right, and when you put your silicone caulk on the edge, I went and did the edge again anyway, all the way around just to be on the safe side. You could even go up here, but I think I'm gonna leave mine because I'm gonna wait until I get some clear and put some clear silicone here. The one I got is white. I don't want white on the black. And anyways, I got silicone under this. It shouldn't, if the water does get under there, it's not gonna go very far. But that's it. When, once you got the silicone down, you're done. And wait 24 hours for it to dry, and then you can start taking a shower. And that's it for this video, guys. Hope this helped out some people that are installing this style of shower glass. French corner style by Dreamland, I believe. Dreamline, sorry. And that glass, French corner glass, going with this nice indigo blue. Nightlight, she was awesome.